Thanks, everyone, for coming back for another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ. Quick shout out to Patriot Phil. In this uh, segment, we're going to talk about old news that just won't go away. And that old news is cocaine in the White House. Uh, you know, Mac and I talked on the phone <laughs> uh, in the middle of last week and uh, I said, I said, man, it's it's like with the Democrats, they always create a new low for for the off the presidency. You know, I mean, you can go back to Bill Clinton getting oral gratification in in the Oval Office, and 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 the whole womanizing thing to to such an extent that they couldn't. I mean, they tried, but good luck. Good luck portraying Donald Trump as a playboy, you know? Well, Bill Clinton did have a track. I mean, and some of them uh, were kind of homely, ugly women. And uh, but some of them, like Linda Carter, allegedly uh, the gal from Desperate Housewives, her name, the little Hispanic gal, like, her name escapes me at the moment. She was she was running in and out of there all the time. But uh, yeah, so. Uh, Bill, uh, Donald Trump's. Certainly could be called a womanizer. I mean, I, I won't deny that, but he hasn't done As far as I know, he hasn't done it in the White House. Yeah. I the mean, people's house, you know, and, and, and that might have been a wake up call to some people, offense, some of the fence sitters, perhaps. I, I don't know. But but, you know, now we've got cocaine and it is confirmed that it's cocaine uh, found in the White House. And. And the reason why I say this is a, this is a, a, a becoming an old story that just won't go away is because, you know, they want to play the blame game. They want to say it was the workers. They even hinted that it was the Secret Service and this and that. And perhaps it was a visitor and perhaps this and perhaps that. They weren't even truthful initially as to where it was found, you know. And and you know what? As their as their lies by the numbers became more exposed, uh, you know it does that does that and you know the the bottom line is I'm not really surprised by any of this. No, you know? I mean initially I was like, holy cow, a new low. But yeah, this this, this they should say sp sponsored by, and I don't want to disparage this corporation, but I I think it'll make my point. They should be sponsored by lids covering up everything. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess, you know, Dan Bongino has been on vacation all last week, so he he wasn't doing any uh, any uh, any of his shows. But he became so irritated at their uh, at their lame excuses and blame game that he was compelled to do a quick two minute and 27 video sharing his thoughts on this. And and I and I think it may have I think it was probably the breaking point when they, you know, when there were efforts efforts to disparage the Secret Service. Okay, let me jump in here with this. We don't have that video because if we tried to use it, would be a violation of YouTube BitChute Rumble's uh, copyright rules. So yeah. that's why we don't have this video. If you're going to have a temper tantrum about that, well, and and if you wanted to see it. You know what? Go to Rumble. Look up Dan Bongino. You will find it. Okay. I'll try to put it. I'll try to put it in the description box. But uh, uh, what the way Dan Bongino presented it was, he started off with the fact it had to have been brought in by what he termed a protectee. Protectee, meaning he goes when someone enters the White House. Because it's, it's it's like one of the most secure places you could say in the world or in the country for sure. But, you know, you've got to go through checkpoints. You're, you're going to get an anal examination. OK, rectal examination. Uh, you know, could someone have the balls, the courage to try and bring it in? You know, well, if they're an addict. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but it was Dan Bongino's belief that let's just say. Let's just say the Biden family was uh, out of the White House under Secret Service protection. 
And he says, and then we're to enter the protected area of the White House. He goes, he goes, they're not going to get screened. No. They're just because they're all by by the very nature of them being under Secret Service protection, they're already screened. Already and, vetted, right. Yeah. So so as so when to enter that sensitive area, that restricted area, you know, you're gonna bypass the uh, checkpoints. Okay. I have been I have been to the White House on a private tour, but it was towards the end of the Reagan administration and things were not nearly secure then as they are now. I mean, they, they checked you for weapons, of course, but uh, and they did a background check on you. They had to have our Social Security, my wife and I, our Social Security numbers, information. I'm sure they ran a check on us through the FBI, found out we weren't bad guys, but uh, I'm sure it's much more secure now and there are cameras everywhere. And let's not talk about the elephant in the room. Let's talk about the jackass in the room and who we're all who we all suspect. Everybody suspects, even those who pretend not to know. This is going to be right on Hunter Biden, crackhead, drug addict, piece of shit. That's well, what you're you know, just lie upon lie involving this. First of all, they lied about where it was found. And 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 I think part of the problem is enough people familiar with with the way security is run there said mm, that can't be. It was in an area that had had less uh, uh, CCTV, you know, uh, as far as recorded video. Well, if there's no recorded video, then it was even deeper within what's what's considered a secure area. Well, yeah, if you are into the uh the restroom just off the White House or off the Oval Office. Yeah, they're not going to there's not going to be a camera in there. Well, but when the bag says property of H. Biden on it, I mean, they would still say it wasn't his. Well, that's and, the degree they're going to to cover up for this scumbag and his. Dementia ridden. King we have and, and, and they no even wrong. they even tried to deny that Hunter Biden uh had was was in the White House, we'll say during the time in question. Well, entry logs, you know, because Secret Service keeps a detailed entry of who enters and who exits that area. And, you know, that was easily disproven. Just, you know, as, as each lie is is by the numbers just torn apart, it just it just it just condemns the first family more and more that, and, and it more. condemns the secret service too because they're helping with the cover-up to some degree well and and that's what i was save gonna say their, save their bacon you know leave it leave it to the democrats to tarnish the image of the white house leave it to the democrats to tarnish the image of the secret service because because now you know conspiracy theorists are going to say oh even though the secret service is a federal agency they're help helping covering up uh uh, drug activity in the White House, blah, well, blah, you know. It, that falls on the Department of Homeland Security, who the Secret Service now report to, that used to be the Treasury Department for our older viewers, which is mostly who we get. Uh, but it, you know what? This could have been anthrax. Yeah. And well, well you know what? It, it was treated as that initially, from so what I, I heard. Well, that, yeah, any powder is going to get treated that way, because didn't years ago somebody try to mail President Obama uh Whoever was the Speaker of the House at that time, it might have been John Boehner, some anthrax. And, and you know, pe people were mailing talcum powder as a threat to someone they didn't like or something, you know, that, that well, kind of nonsense. Don't try that. That's a serious offense. It's like robbing a, a, a liquor store with a toy gun. You're still going to prison for armed robbery. Hey, and then, and then people began to uh, figure out, uh oh, you know. You can get DNA from uh, the envelope if you if you lick it with your tongue, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, find that out the hard way. But uh, you know, I just uh, this is this is an old story that as a day it just won't go away, and 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 their denials, Jean Pierre, uh, feigning uh, offense when how dare a reporter. Uh, ask if if whether or not the first family was responsible for this and Corinne jean pierre uh, you know acting so offended how dare you how dare you ask such a question when cocaine is found within deep recesses of the white house 
You know, how dare you? Yeah, it's not a how peanut butter and jelly sandwich left in a lunch bag. It's cocaine. And, and you know what? Even even Karine Jean Pez, how dare you response adds to the story. You know, I it's yeah. just uh, you know, that's why I say this this this, you know, it ain't going away. <laughs> you know, not if we can help it. So it saddens me that I see this whole thing going down the toilet, you know? Well, that's where it should have gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it didn't. Yeah. And what an idiot. Well, idiot. He is an, well, he's a drug addict. They're not rational people. They're not making good decisions. The substance um, is running his, ho- running his life in, in his decision making. And, and his father's so proud of him. Yeah, so proud of him. You, are, are, are you still proud of him? He, he probably doesn't even know who he is. Uh, I, we can wrap this one up because I'll just I'll keep ranting. Okay, but uh, that's what editing is for. Yep. Yeah. Edit out my rants. All right. So we'll catch you on the next rant. As always, be safe. Watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs> <laughs>